Hey friends, I'm Ashley. Welcome to Joyful Noise Learning and I'm so glad you're here today. I love homeschooling and I love talking about homeschooling and I love talking about homeschool curriculum. And that is what today's video is all about. We're gonna talk about my favorites, my favorite homeschool curriculum. New friends, if you're new here, I have three kiddos that I've been homeschooling for the last eight years. They are currently 11, nine, and six. They always change their ages. I have to remember what their ages are. <laughs> so with homeschooling my kids over the last eight years, I have run into and used a lot of homeschool curriculum. So I did wanna share what my absolute favorites were. And guys, I love curriculum. I love researching and using it and talking about it. So this was actually really difficult for me, really difficult to pick just one. So I'm gonna pick one for each subject and I'm gonna share that with you, what my ultimate favorites are. All right, we're gonna start with math. I'll share with you my favorite math curriculum. First though, I wanna say, I didn't grab all the books for each of these curriculum. Some of them are in storage. Some of them I don't have anymore, so I didn't wanna run around and round them all up. So I have a few of the books uh, to share with you that are my favorites. <laughs> but uh, So let's talk about math. And my favorite math curriculum for the lower elementary age is Math with Confidence. And I love this curriculum, oh my gosh. It's a nice mix of hands-on and workbook. And so there are a lot of games and things involved like you would do with Right Start that we've done in the past as well. But it's, it's really streamlined and it's quick. It doesn't take too long to do your lessons. And there's also a workbook included for the kids or the moms who just want some more individual work that the kids can do uh, with their when they do all their games and things like that. So I've been following Kate Snow for several years now, and I've had the privilege of using kindergarten and now first grade math with confidence. I've also used second grade math with confidence and third grade. Those aren't out yet because I was in the pilot group for that curriculum, but they are coming out very, very soon. And as far as the upper elementary and middle school age for math, uh, math with confidence doesn't have that level. Otherwise I would have used that. And so it's not here yet, but because she doesn't have it out yet, I like teaching textbooks. Uh, teaching textbooks is the curriculum I've used with my oldest for the last couple years, and it has been super helpful and we love it. All right, now I'm gonna bite off a big chunk now for language arts. And for language arts, I am gonna share with you each individual subject that goes along with language arts. And if you wanna know how to piece together different curriculums for your own language arts, I did do a video on that recently, so you can go check that out after this video. The first aspect of language arts is phonics, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, but all about reading is my ultimate favorite when it comes to teaching phonics to the kids. So I do love the readers that go along with the curriculum. Uh, it was really good for my struggling reader. It really gave him a good visual and we had to break down each of the way we use phonics. Um, but I've used all the readers uh, from level one to level three with all of my kiddos. And I really love all about reading. As far as writing goes, the jury is still out on what my absolute favorite writing curriculum is because I've really struggled in this area. Part of this is I am a Charlotte Mason inspired homeschool mom, so I love doing the narration and copy work method. And I've been doing that with my kids for many years now, but I'm still trying to wait and see the benefit of that um, since my kids are still younger and they're getting into more formal, you know, actual writing age. Um, and the funny thing is, is I was actually a former English teacher, but nobody really taught me how to teach people how to write. So I love writing. I know I can do it myself, but teaching people how to do it, it's a whole nother story. So I've needed a lot of help in this area. Uh, oh, Know and Tell is the book by Karen Glass. And that was a great resource that I love for narration and copy work and how to do it well and how to turn that into writing. And we also just started using IEW and I'm really excited because I think it's gonna help a lot and give us some really good direct writing instruction. So I think that one's probably gonna move up to the top pretty soon here, but we haven't been using it very long yet. But IEW is definitely uh, up there as a front runner. Okay, literature and reading good books. Oh, 
This was really hard to pick a favorite because I like them all because this is the part of language arts that I'm like, yes, like this is my thing. This is what I loved when I was teaching English. This is what I loved just reading it myself, you know, literature and oh, good books, good stories. Uh, so some of my favorites, I couldn't pick just one guys, but one was the Brave Writer Dart Guides and I have used those in the past and I loved them. They're super helpful with picking good books and uh, tying in language arts into the books that you're reading. Um, the Read Aloud Family is really good. It's not a curriculum, it's a guide on how to create your own literature curriculum and really being confident in just reading really good books with your kids. And then as far as the younger kids go, Before Five in a Row was definitely my favorite. So that would be really great for the three to five year olds and then five in a row for the little bit older kiddos. So anyway, that, those are the ones that were my favorite for literature. And then as far as grammar and spelling, all right, grammar is my wheelhouse too. So I love grammar, love me some grammar. But I used first language lessons level one and level two with my older kiddos. Um, and my third is not as excited about it. So <laughs> we're still really far in the front of the book here. But I love this one. This is one of my favorites. And I used it when I was first homeschooling my oldest and we made it through the whole thing and really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend this uh, for early grammar for your kiddos. And for the older kiddos, since my oldest is getting older now, we've switched to fix it grammar. And I really like this one too. This is, this is really good. So again, me being a former English teacher, I could totally just do this on my own and create the sentences and look for, the, have or find the mistakes but I'm trying to save time <laughs> and it's nice to have somebody who's already done the work for me. So we love, love fix it grammar. And then spelling, I've really struggled finding a good spelling curriculum. So I don't love, I don't have any spelling curriculums I love. I'll just say that maybe. But if I have spelling curriculum that I like, uh, we just started using Rod and Staff a few months ago. That's going really well. Um, Evan Moore is going really well. And I really did like The Good and the Beautiful and how they did spelling as well. That was language arts. Again, if you wanna know how to piece together language arts, you can check out my video. And by the way, I was invited by my dear friend, Ryan over at Mama on a Mission uh, to do this video as a collab. So myself and others and Ryan are all sharing our favorites curriculums. Like this is like the MVP of curriculum kind of video. So you wanna check out her and her channel. Uh, she is one of the most genuine people that I have met. And I really love that she talks about sharing her. I love that she shares it with her family and how she's classically homeschooling. And she likes to talk about biblical womanhood and she likes to drop some truth bombs. So yes, go check out Ryan uh, and please subscribe to her. You are not going to want to miss out on her channel. All right, moving right along. Let's speed this thing up here. So my favorites for morning time, I'm gonna consider morning time a subject, is a gentle feast. <laughs> it's right here. A gentle feast morning time. Oh my goodness, guys. This was incredible and I loved it. We had a really great year with this. I talked about this on Wednesday with my term two update, but morning time with gentle feast, uh, it had everything in it really great poems, really great biblical uh, studies, composer study, picture study, uh, and artist study, just included everything. And I really, really did like it. So this is my favorite morning time curriculum. And now that brings us to science. I did just talk about science recently in another video, but my favorites, if I had to pick a favorite, would be the calendars by Wonder Filled Days. I really like the nature activity she has on there. Um, it's really great for nature study and really good guide uh, for doing things on a seasonal basis and remembering, uh, giving you prompts for your nature journal. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed um, the nature study guide with Wonderfilled Days. And I enjoyed uh, 106 Days of Creation with Simply Charlotte Mason. That was great. That was like awesome. And I couldn't find it online for you guys. So I think they don't print it anymore, but they have Living Science on Simply Charlotte Mason on their website. And then lastly, sorry, last one about science is just unit studies where we pick topics, we go to, to the library and get books on that topic and we read about it and watch videos and that's it. So that's been my favorite. Uh, I'm not a huge person who uses curriculum for science, but if I had to say my favorites, that, that would be it. Okay, that brings us to history. Let's talk about history. Guys, 
Again, this was another subject that was so hard to pick. There's so many good ones out there. And if you're the one who's looking for the perfect history curriculum, you're not going to find it because they're all just good. Just pick one and be confident in it and stick with it. <laughs> My problem was, is I was like, oh, let's do this one. We did this one for a few months and then, oh, let's try this one. And we did this one for a few months and, and, and so on and so forth. <laughs> so, but if I had to pick my favorite, do I have to pick a favorite really? <laughs> if I had to pick a favorite, I would say beautiful feet books. If I had to pick one favorite. Then if I had to pick others, I would say The Playful Pioneers by Peaceful Press, uh, Sunlight, incredible books that go along with history, Living History, Ambleside Online and their book lists. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I noticed when I was picking these that they all have in common is, is their living books based history. So that is my jam. So yes. So, but if I had to pick one favorite, like I said, Beautiful Feet books would probably be my top favorite. Next is geography, and I like geography. I really enjoy doing this with my kids. I love doing those like states. Okay, I'm getting off track, sorry. The states like times test when I was a kid. I really liked labeling the states and finding their capitals. That was a lot of fun when I was a kid. But in my home, we expand that to all different continents. And my favorites uh, for geography is the CC Happy Mom geography songs. So she goes along with classical conversations and they have different sections of different continents that they go over every few weeks. And she wrote songs that help the kids remember as they look at the map and they sing along with it while they point to the, you know, whether it's the states or, you know, countries in Europe, whatever we're studying. And I really, 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 really like her songs. So I've been using those for the last four years, I think, four or five years. So uh, those have been super great. Also, I love the Draw Africa, Draw Europe, Draw USA books. Those have been really, really cool. So those are my favorite geography uh, curriculum. Okay, next is foreign language. Oh, this was another hard one to pick too. If I had to pick one for my favorite uh, foreign language, it would definitely be the Charlotte Mason Simple Languages. And they have other languages now, but we focus on Spanish. And I really loved her resources. And she has book lists and she has songs and she has um, nature study and good vocabulary. And uh, it's all made by a native speaker, which I love and is so cool. So you can watch one of my older videos where I talk more about that here. The Charlotte Mason Simple Languages and Simple Spanish Oh, is, is my favorite. All right, we got two more, hang in there. So I'm on to Bible and my favorite Bible. Ah, that was hard to pick too. There's just so much out there that's so good. But what my absolute favorite, it's not really curriculum, but it's a resource, the Bible Project. So we pick a book of the Bible and we read through it. And as we're reading through it, we watch the Bible Project videos on it or on the topics that it's covering. And that to me has been wonderful. So I've been doing that with my kids for the last four years. And I think that's been super helpful in enriching our uh, Bible time. But really, I just read God's word and then we watch the, the context information that we get from the Bible project. Uh, so that's, that's what my favorite is for Bible. Lastly is handwriting. And we've used a reason for handwriting, which I do like. And we've used uh, the good and the beautiful handwriting. I don't love handwriting, but I make sure that we do it in our family and have the kids do it. We've, they've done a lot of copy work too, but um, I feel like handwriting is important. Um, I don't love it. My kids don't love it, but those would be my top uh, handwriting curriculum if I had to pick one. And that was it. So don't forget to subscribe. I would love to see you guys around here if you are a new friend. We can also be friends over on Instagram. I'm at Joyful Noise Mama. I'm not posting there as often anymore, but anyway, you, if you want to follow me there, you can. Are any of these curriculum your favorites? Did you, were you surprised and were you not surprised? <laughs> but do we share any of the same favorites? And don't forget to check out Mama on a Mission and please go subscribe to her channel after this too. And I'll link to the playlist below with all the other amazing YouTube mamas who are sharing their favorite curriculum. So you rock at homeschooling, go find his joy among the noise. See ya.